Hey, today we're gonna be making a fart generator. It's gonna look like this. You enter the first letter of your name and the day of the month you were born and it tells you what kind of fart you are. But first, my name is Alex. If you're new here, I make a Java tutorial on this channel every single week, so if you might be interested in seeing that, then consider subscribing. If you wanna to learn to program, I highly recommend this audiobook called Computer Programming Languages for Beginners. You can get it for free at my Audible link. It goes over Java, HTML, Python, SQL, and much more for beginners. Audible has thousands of titles you can choose from and cover audiobooks, guided meditation, and even podcasts. Again, you can get that Computer Programming Languages book for free at Audible trial.com slash Alex Lee. Then after you sign up, just paste that in the search box. That's audibletrial.com slash Alex Lee. So let's get started with this fart program. Go to new Java project. We'll call it fart generator. Hit finish. And then inside there, we're going to make a new class. And we'll call it farts. Hit the main method and finish. So basically what we're doing is, you know those little posters? So like these, these name generators. So like what's your NASCAR driver name? It asks you for your the first letter of your first name and then um, first letter of your last name. What we're gonna do is what's your fart name? What kind of fart are you? And we're gonna ask for the first letter of your first name and the day of the month you were born. So let's hop back over to Eclipse. First, we're gonna prompt the user to enter something because the user's not gonna know what to do unless we ask them. So we'll just print out a little message. We're gonna say, enter the first letter of your name and then we'll add a new line character backslash N plus the day of the month you were born. Cool. So we kind of put it in one print statement here. You could also do multiple print statements, but if we save and run this, then we'll get this. Let's format it a little nicer without that extra space and maybe put a colon at the end. So now the user knows what to do. So what they're gonna do now is enter that letter and the number except we can't enter anything into the console yet because we need to set that up. And to do that in Java, there are multiple ways, but we're gonna use a scanner. So we're gonna make a scanner object here. Let's name it scan. And we wanna get input from this console. So we're gonna type system.in in here. This is the standard input stream, which in Eclipse or most other IDEs is this console window. Let's import that bad boy so we can start using it. We're gonna get the first letter of the name, which could be a character or a string. We'll just do a string because it's a little easier. So we can say that the string, we'll call it letter, is equal to whatever the user enters, that's a string. So we can do scan.next to get the next string. Then they're gonna enter the day of the month, which is an integer. So we can say int day, is equal to scan.next int. So now if we run this, what will happen is that we can type in here now and we can do the letter and then the day, which stores it into letter and day. You could theoretically type whatever you want and it would cause an error, but we're not gonna catch that right now. We're just gonna make our simple fart generator. So next what we're gonna do is we're going to make this little list. Each letter has to have a corresponding name and then each day of the month has to have a corresponding name. So the types of farts we're going to do are like adjectives like you're a big nasty fart. You're a tiny moist fart. So we're just going to make a list of adjectives for the letters and a list of adjectives for the day of the month. And it could just be any list but since we're kind of mapping one to one so like A is going to be this adjective. B is gonna be this adjective all the way down. They're sort of pairs. And so this is where the hash map data structure comes in, which makes it really easy. And I'll go over it in a second. So we'll just make hash map and we'll call it, um, this is the letters. So we'll just call it letters equals new hash map. We'll import that hash map code into our program so we can start using this data structure. For hash maps, it has yellow underlines under the object name because it wants us to say what type of variables it's gonna be. 
So in this case, the letter is going to be a string. So A, B, or C, or whatever. And the adjective is also going to be a string. So we just have to put that in little alligators here and also at the end. We'll zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see more. Now let's start adding to it. To add to it, you just type the name dot put. Now inside of here, you replace the key with the letter. So say the letter A is going to be wretched. The letter B, I actually have a list here that I made before this video, going to be deeply. Now we're going to go down and add all the adjectives up until Z. And I'll have this in a link in the description so you can copy and paste this instead of typing it all. So here's everything A through Z, all the little adjectives that come first. This way we can easily map the input to the adjective using a different method from the hash map, which we'll get to later. But first we're going to add now to our day of the month list, which will also be a hash map. So I'm just going to copy and paste this setup here for the next one. This will be, I'll call it days. And the day of the month is an integer. So I'm just going to replace this with integer on both sides. Now we'll put our days, days.put. The first day of the month is one. And then the adjective for one is sour. Now we'll go all the way down again. Now here are all the days of the month up to 31. I'll just show you more of this code now. So what we have so far is we've imported a hash map and a scanner into our program so we can interact with the console and have an easy to use data structure. We print out what the user should enter. We set up a scanner. We get the letter, we get the day, and we have a map of all the letters to different adjectives and all the days to different adjectives using hash maps. Now we just have to use a simple method to get the corresponding name. So what we can do is just print out you are a blank blank fart. Since we scanned for the letter and the day, they're stored into variables. So we have a string letter and an int day. What we can do is use these variables to get the other element of the hash map. So for example, we can do letters.get the key. So the key is what's on the left. So we can replace the key with the letter and it'll get the corresponding adjective. So we'll just replace this with the letter they enter. We'll add a space and then on the next line to make it fit on the screen, we'll do days.get day. And then at the end, we'll say fart. So now if we save and run this, we enter A and 18. It says you are a null fat fart. But if we look back to A, we see that A is actually wretched. And this is because it doesn't account for the lowercase a character. The lowercase a is different than the uppercase a. So what we can do is just automatically cast it up. So we can do this scan.next. This returns a string that the user enters. And to a string, we can do a method. So we can just put a dot to do what strings can do. In this case, what we want to do to uppercase. Save and run. Now if we type lowercase a 18, it will convert the a to uppercase, which will map the key that's in the hash map. Let's run it for something different. Let's say we do it uppercase p, and maybe you were born on the second of the month. You are a beautifully great fart. So now I'm going to walk through line by line again what happened when we executed this program. When we clicked the green run button, it ran code inside of this main method. The first line of code is this print statement, system.out.println, this text. So what we see is this text printed out. It's on different lines because we have this new line character and we concatenated different strings in the same print statement to make it on different lines so it didn't go past here. Next, we set up a scanner 
using standard input from this console window, which we imported up here so there's no red underlines. Next, what we did is create this letter variable that's a string that uses the scanner to get the next input from the console. So the program waits until we enter a P. When we enter the P, it converts it to uppercase if it isn't already and then stores it to letter. Then we create a variable day that's an integer and we scan for the next integer. Once we hit enter, both of these are now stored in two variables. Next, we set up a list of all the names. We use the hash map data structure because it's really easy to map a key to a value. So the letter A will be this adjective wretched and the letter F will be explosive. The hash map has a really easy way to get a value from a key, a simple get method with the key, which we know is the letter variable, so it makes it really easy and organized for us. So we made all the use cases, A through Z, into the letters hash map. Next, we did the same thing for days, except instead of being a string key and a string value, we did an integer key and a string value. So we changed these and we covered all the use cases one through 31 and included some amazing adjectives like soft, noiseless, potent, powerful, sturdy, hot. And then at the end, we printed out URA blank blank fart. Then we replaced these blanks with the hash map name letters dot get the letter. This is the key. So since we typed in P, this would do letters.get capital P, which up here goes into the letters hash map. Since all these objects are put into the letters hash map, letters knows that the key P has the adjective beautifully. So we print out you are a beautifully. Then we go into the days hash map, days, and we get the value with the key two. The key two is great. So we print great. And at the end, we have, you are a beautifully great fart. And that's it. Hope you had fun. If you want to learn to program, I highly recommend the audiobook, Computer Programming Languages for Beginners. You can get it for free at audibletrial.com slash alexlee in the description. Thanks, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.